a ketogenic diet induces a state of nutritional ketosis, which is generally defined as serum ketone levels above 0.5 millimoles. Mm -hmm. While many factors can impact what amount of daily carbohydrate intake will result in these levels, a broad guideline is a dietary carbohydrate intake of less than 50 grams per day. This is the launch point. What the heck is this talking about? That's the ketogenic diet. That's ketosis. Let's not talk about a low carb diet. Let's talk about what yeah. ketogenic diet is, right? Yeah. So for those that don't know, ketosis is functionally, it's a, it's a, a state that your body can go into when you are so lacking in carbohydrates, blood sugar, glucose, that your body switches into burning its own fat stores for survival. And it's got all kinds of fun side effects like uh, they've tested and shown increased visual acuity. You can uh -huh. see a little bit sharper. Your brain moves a little bit faster. Likely because, in theory, if you're super hungry and you haven't eaten in a while, your body's like, hey, you're going to need to hunt and you're going to need to figure that out right now. Sure. So we're going to amp everything up. What your body is not really intended to do is stay in this, in this place for years and years on end, which is what I did. I was hardcore keto for five years. Um, but that's the, that's what you're talking about. And the, and the measurement is ketones in the blood serum. Mm -hmm. There's, um, um, strips you can get where you, uh, you can do a P test. So you can determine exactly where you are. Yep. Yeah. And you can figure out, Oh, I ate a banana. That was too many carbs. I can't do that again. You know, I'm going to have to cut back to half a banana. Uh, that's actually a conversation I had with my wife once upon a time. I'm glad to no longer have those conversations. Um, but yeah, okay. So that's, but, that's, yeah, and, like, and you don't just drop in and out of it. When you go into ketosis, it takes your body like 18 to 24 hours minimum to kind of flip into it. Okay. And if you if your body is not adapted to it, it's, um, jarring. Huh. You can get nauseous. You can have, you get brain fog. Uh, it's it's not a pleasant experience. Sounds uh, sounds great. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but once you're there, <laughs> you're good to go. Yeah. Until you come out again, and then it's that's why, you know, I've had friends that go, "Hey, I'm gonna be I'm doing keto." Well, I cheated a little this afternoon, but I'll you know I, I allow myself one thing a day, and it's like that's literally Tec not how yeah, this if works. We're, if we're trying to be technical. <laughs> you're not. That's, that's not, not it. ketosis. That's a low carb diet, right? But that's not ketosis, right? And for context, I like that you mentioned the the banana example. So for a standard banana, yep. there's 27 grams of carbohydrate. Too much. Exactly. And the cut point, less than 50, about 50 grams per day. Yeah. So that's less than, that's less than two bananas a day worth of carbohydrates. I Just found for, out I could eat 50 or more carbs a day, but it had to be less than 20 grams at, at a time. time. If I kept it under 20, I could stay in ketosis without any issues. See All right, that you've we'll always been a you you've always been a master micromanager. <laughs> I mean, it all makes sense. Oh my god. But gosh. you finally you saw the light and <laughs> yeah, moved on. Yeah. What's what's point two? Point two, nutritional ketosis achieved through carbohydrate restriction and a high dietary fat intake is not intrinsically harmful and should not be confused with ketoacidosis, a life-threatening condition most commonly seen in clinical populations and metabolic dysregulation. So essentially your body does not have enough insulin to allow blood sugar into the cells for energy. Instead, the liver breaks down fat for fuel, which produces acids called ketones. When too many ketones build up in the body too quickly, it can lead to DKA. 